welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. I'm Yolanda, the mother of the Big King Family. Today is Saturday and I just wanted to vlog a little bit while I was doing some different organizing um, here in my kitchen. Um, today has been kind of a laid back day. I've already done like three loads of clothes and um, I sat back and I watched the WWE uh, pay-per-view clash of uh, Clash of Champions. Oh, Night of Champions, right? Okay. I always say, I don't know. I think it used to be called Clash of Champions, but now it's called Night of Champions. So I watched that pay-per-view, but then it's time to get back to work. So now there's a lot of stuff that I want to do in my kitchen. And it is, you know, it's kind of a mess. So I really got to get some stuff uh, together. So uh, come along with me today, you guys. Okay. All right, y'all. Here's the counter that has the Instapot on it. It is a, you know, I just want to clear this out before I get started with my organizing. Yeah, so I do have a new addition to the kitchen. You know, as you know, Deucey got his own, um, he, he has a little job and he be having his own money and he bought this correct. Uh, they said new, they claim this only at Walmart. I don't know what it is really. It did come with those cups now. Uh, and they are included with the pot. These little uh, correct cups are included with the correct pot. Six. Eight, ten. Don't know exactly what that means. You know, add water, the scale. This is how it really looks, y'all. You're gonna put that cup under there, and that one is ice that's for your iced coffee. And you also get a mug for your, you get a mug for your hot coffee, and you get a cup for your iced coffee, and it just brews it right down into the cup. Okay, a Keurig. Okay, and it's a K ice essentials single serve coffee maker brew over ice automatically adjust brew temperature starting hotter to help extract full flavor then cooling down for less ice melt wow it starts off hot but then it cools down some so that all your ice won't melt out okay three cup sizes uh i got six eight and ten ounce cups can go right underneath here a 36 ounce reservoir. Well, I'm hoping that uh, enough that much water can fit into this. So this is our new appliance here in the kitchen. All right, so you guys. Uh, while we were watching the pay-per-view, Deuce had got some Popeyes, some ghost pepper wings. I mean, they might not be new, but they're new to me, and they were really good. They just got a little kick to them. Um, I can't. I don't. I can't even hardly take nothing too hot. I can't hardly take nothing too hot. So really they're not that hot because I was able to eat some. I ate about three of them or so or whatnot. And he did get some biscuits, but he did not get the new strawberry biscuits that are at Popeye's. I have yet to taste them. I really, really want to taste them because I absolutely love Popeye's biscuits, but um, I would love to taste the strawberry biscuits. All right, well, I'm running my mouth. Let me get started with, with the work at hand. Right, you guys, this is the Keurig K Ice Essential one. I don't know if there's so many different Keurigs or not, but I did want to tell you guys the exact one it is. And we did, I think they're, I think it come in different colors, y'all, because it says that ours is the Arctic Gray color. Arctic Gray, okay? And then Juicy also grabbed some of these Keurig cups. You know what? This is our first time kind of like dealing with Keurigs. This is my very first time even having a Keurig here at the house. So he did get some of these, uh, Starbucks K cups, and this is the buttery and smooth notes of caramel. So I guess this is the, these are the the caramel Starbucks K cups right here. Okay, and he also had got the um, Starbucks creamer, creamer caramel macchiato. Yeah, everybody want to make an iced coffee when I come in the kitchen trying to straighten up. Hey, real with that cup of coffee so I can get rolling. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So put it in there. Let's go. Okay, caramel <laughs> macchiato creamer. Now this is good. We actually did some iced coffees this morning. You see, now they're trying to put my little uh, coffee mate on the back burner. My coffee mate, he had got me for uh, Mother's Day, but he said he always did want a little personal Keurig. So that's fine, it's all fine. All right, you guys, let, let me get started to the project at hand. And that is doing some different organizing around the house. Today when I get started, once I go ahead and get started, once Carlana gets out the kitchen with me, I will be, uh, I got two of these that was at the Dollar Tree. I've been having them for a while. I think one time when I was decluttering, I said that I was just going to do away with these right here. But I'm going to go ahead and keep these. I'm going to go ahead and keep them because, I don't know, I'm making use them in the pepper pantry when I started doing that organizing. And this is something new I had got, you guys. This right here. I got this at Ross's. And you see it's the thing that you can kind of, yeah, like, you can see the pick right there, kind of how you can utilize it. But I think I know what I want to put right here. 
I really do think I know what I want to put right here. Just fill this up with a certain pepper pantry item. So, and this wasn't but $4.99 at Ross. Ross, Ross would just take, I went there to get my daughter her um, Mother's Day gift, Yasmin. I went there to get her her Mother's Day gifts and um, at Ross, it was just, yeah, it just, it blew me away with all the awesome stuff that is in Ross. That's why I try to stay out of the stores. I really do. Because there are lots of um, very grown up things, real important things that we're trying to do here at the house. So I don't need to be spending a whole lot of money, not right now. But I do enjoy myself on, on the little things, just the little things. So this right here was just $4.99. It wasn't nothing but like about five bucks. So that's not bad at all, okay? So, okay, what I'm gonna do is just, I'm finna get started, all right. All right, you guys, I am done with the countertop, so I got it good and clear and clean. And what I'm going to do is just organize my pepper pantry. I have three cabinets where I keep a majority of the pepper pantry. I do have two more cabinets where some overflow is at. And then um, to wipe down my counters, I did use the Grapefruit Method Cleaner. This one don't hit like the first one I had got. I, you know what? I'm going to have to go back to that video and figure out what method cleaner I had got the last time the grapefruit don't hit quite here but i do have another one i think i have i don't know what the other one i got i do have the french lavender the french lavender all-purpose cleaner so i'm hoping the lavender scent does me right but i know it was one of them that really smells super good but the grapefruit it smells pretty good and stuff but it won't be one that i'll rebuy but i uh and then sometimes i think the method do be coming out with different um seasons like uh, fall scents or winter scents and spring scents, you know, so I'm going to check out some of those also Grapefruit smells pretty good and everything. It does the job everything like that But I, the scent just don't I just don't too much care for it I got to find that other scent that I had got one time that smelled so good to me And then you know, you know, you have certain scents that you kind of um, That you kind of you know lean toward, you know and um, so the lavender will be next, you know, one thing that I will start on later. All right, enough about the cleaners, but you know, I, you know, cleaning is something I really like doing, cleaning and organizing. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and organize my pepper pantry, kind of got out of whack. So I just wanna, if it's organized, I know what I need, cause it, it, it's real low too. I, I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Um, I really have been, and you know, doing pepper pantry hauls and stuff like that, buying extra stuff to put in it. I think I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to put in it. But there are a couple of items I know that I can go ahead and stock up on. I'm not going to keep on talking. Let's just get this pepper, pepper pantry done and organized. We're going to start with this first cabinet right here. It's pretty, it's pretty it's quite a bit of stuff in here, but you see it's a spot up there missing. And I believe that the brownies and the cake mixes are going to go. They are going to go. And right here, you know, I have the, you know, just, I'm just going to redo it, okay? And a lot of this stuff. I want my my pepper pantry in single file order so that I know exactly um, where everything is at. So, uh, let's hop to it. First thing first, first thing first, right here, I'm going to get rid of the brownie and cake bot mixes. They are not one and done items. And I just got to find something else. And then something a little more, uh, I guess I'm, I want to gear towards something more healthier in the pantry, pepper pantry. I know the chocolate oatmeal might not be the best, but it is oatmeal and it's one and done. You just add water and go ahead. You know, you can eat it that way, but we normally add, we normally do add a little bit of butter, you know. <laughs> but anyhow, okay, I'm going to get rid of all the cake mixes and the, um, the cake mixes and the fudge. Um, Okay, starting right here at the top is the uh, the oatmeal right there. I have some fruit boxes and some of the chocolate. And then I think I do have a cookie and cream back there. We normally buy that big box from Sam Club, which we do have right now. Uh, all the fruit flavor ones from Sam Club, they're in a, a bigger cabinet at the bottom. So once these are gone, I, I won't put no more up here in the cabinet. I'll just keep that one big box. It lasts us for a year, the one big box. Lasts us for a year. I put the diced peaches right there. I plan on having two rows of these diced peaches right there. And then there's the Wood Brand Homestyle Chili. Uh, I believe we're going to love that. I'm going to get two rows of that. Now the sliced potatoes, 
and the diced potatoes. Um, I don't think we're going to be keeping those. So I would probably use them and use that spot for something else. Um, I would probably do that. And I got everything. I want everything in a single file line so that I will be able to know what I got and what I need. Moving along, I went ahead and put the Tabasco sauce up here and the grape jelly up there. Only because um, the tall, some taller items need to be on this shelf. Okay, so that shelf is done. All right, then moving on to this shelf right here. I put the shorter items right here because of the drink packets. Um, when I get two more, I need two more of these canisters. And there was, excuse me, y'all, there was a great deal on them. Y'all know, I seemed like Duna was really loud, so I had to try to, try to calm him down. He's still playing with his toys. But anyway, I put the shorter items on this shelf right here because uh, this shelf is doing double duty. Like, the shorter items are right here. Also, the drink packets will be on this shelf. So, once I get two more canisters right here. I can fit two more canisters of drink juice right here. I will put another box of juice packets in front of it. So that'll be two, four, six, eight. That'll be eight box, you know, eight boxes of juice packs of water packets or whatever. Uh, right here on this row. Once I get done, uh, of course I got the drink mix right here, the peanut butter. I put my dumplings right there. I would probably have two rows of dumplings. I wonder can that double. No, it, it can't double stack. I wish it could double stack, but I would probably have two rows of these dumplings because that's like a meal within itself. Lord have mercy. And I'll find somewhere else to put these uh, ketchups because I want shorter items on this row just so I can do the juice packets on top. So to play double duty, but I'll always be able to see and know what I got right there, okay? So that's how I'm doing these two rows, just single file to the point. I know what I got and I know what I'll need. Now down here with the uh, ramen noodles, okay, uh, I usually, I wanna keep four things, four big things of this honey right here. Four big things of this honey right here. Uh, so I need to get one more for right there. I'm putting them like right in the, in between the noodles, like it's like, this is, this is a, a, a crack right here. So that's why I'm gonna put that honey. Uh, oh, it is a crack right here. So what I put another one right here, then one right there, one right here, and one right here. So I can keep five honeys right across the front of these noodles. So that's how that's gonna go. I'm gonna keep five honeys. And the next time I do a Sam's Club haul, I'm at least gonna get one. Maybe I might go ahead and get the other two honeys. So I'll just be stocked up on the honey. Um, and as far as the noodles go, as you can see, what I want to do is I want to uh, have single file rows of certain flavors of the ramen noodles. So this is going to be the chicken right here. That's the chicken. This right here is going to be, it's two rows of chicken because that's our favorite. But then you got the one row of shrimp right there. But I got a chicken up there. And then you got the one row of beef. It's only three beef up there and the rest chicken, but that's going to be beef. That's going to be the beef flavor. And then you're going to have the row of the chili flavor. And this will be another one. Now, I did see, I think I saw a soy, soy flavor. And um, if, if don't nobody want like a meat flavored one, I think I saw a soy flavored one in the Dollar Tree that I want my getting. So after these two are gone, this one big bucket of hot noodles or whatever will feed me doodle bug and team when i make it so i can make it for us a snack um a couple of times and then that those will be gone on a, i buy the rebate we were getting those for like 75 cent each you know all the time 70 something cent so i was grabbing those but this is the first cabinet and i know what all i'm gonna do I need two more things of honey, I know. And you know, just room to grow. And I'm putting stuff in here that is definitely one and done. All you gotta do is grab it and eat it, or else just add water to it and eat it. All right, and of course, different items that will help make your food taste a little bit better. All right, and on down here, we ended up, we got five of these uh, brownie mixes. I'm sure we'll utilize them. But whenever we want brownies, we could just buy some brownies um you know this this is just too much i just don't want that in there because it's not a one and done item and also you know i'm gonna try to 
I said I want to try to make healthier choices, but hey, you know, I'm going to just do what I can do, okay? We ended up with all these cake mixes right here. We got one pineapple upside down cake. We got two of the white cake mixes. And I got two of these German chocolate cake mixes. But these Pillsbury ones, they be only $1 at Walmart. At different times, when they roll them back, they only be a dollar. If people, if you, if you, if you're someone who likes to keep plenty of cake mixes, a dollar you can't beat it. But even Duncan Highs, all of them, you can get them for a dollar if you really find them at the right time. And then we have two of the lemon, two of the lemon ones. Okay, our absolute favorite cake mixes, of course, is the pineapple upside down cake. We like to just literally make a pineapple upside down cake out of this cake right here, and not the white one, but it's one that. They're by, it's by Duncan Hines, and it's a French vanilla. I hope I can find that to pop it up on the screen. It's a French vanilla cake, and then we, we make a caramel frosting out of the um, condensed milk. I believe it's just condensed milk, and you just kind of cook it all the way down a little bit and pour that over that French vanilla cake. You're talking about very delicious. But I just don't want to have this many cakes and brownies on hand. I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to just, you know, make a, a dessert every you know, every other time we cook or something like that, make a dessert until they're all gone. And if we really want a cake or brownies, we can just always buy it. All righty. Moving on to the next cabinet. I'm going to go ahead and get started on this cabinet. This one is a little more messier than the other cabinet. Different stuff over here don't need to be over here. So I'm going to go ahead and get it done. Up. Everything not as bad as I thought it was, you know. So I got my mac and cheese right here. Shells and cheese right here. You add water, you cook this up. Uh, a good side dish or a snack for the kids. So I gotta just fill up the cheddar and cheese right there. I always keep three. I should be able to get three packs of sugar, four pound bags of sugar, and I'll get another four pound bag of sugar, lasagna noodles. And these are different types of noodles. Like penne is in the front, but then there's probably some elbow behind there and rigatoni or whatnot. Noodles, I've just come to find out that I don't use noodles that much. But I have the lasagna and then these different few noodles right there. So that, that shelf is, is done. Uh, this is all the complete pancake mixes. Just add water. Then I have my flour. It'd be two pounds of flour for each bag. I'll probably get two more bags of that or even three. And uh, then we got our mac and cheese cups. I can always get more of those. And then this right here, it goes in the microwave for 90 seconds. And then it is done. You can always put a little meat on top of it and just make a bowl. And even chop some veggies on top. Or saute a few veggies go on top. And they'll go you a good bowl. This is the Korean barbecue. That looks delicious, don't it? Y'all, let me show y'all all of them. These are the Korean barbecue. The uh, rice. I don't know how to say that. Pilaf. I'm going to have to learn how to say that. Um, and then you have the red beans and rice one right here. You have the whole grain melody one with the brown and wild with herbs and spices. Have your garden vegetable one, your red beans and rice one. I almost got I was two of those red beans and rice ones. And then here's another garden vegetables. And then there's the roasted chicken. So, yeah, these are some pretty good things to have on hand. And you can make a quick bowl with them. 90 seconds for the rice. Maybe um, go ahead and throw some meat on there and some uh, some veggies. You can always just do that up in a skillet in a few minutes if you want to. But you can buy the meat already done and you can just chop some, um, like a salad, like on top, a little bit of veggies on top in order to make yourself a little bowl or something. Or else just eat it like this, 90 seconds, and do it like this because this got beans and rice in there. That's awesome. All right, you guys, moving along. Moving on down to the last shelf uh this is where i utilize that basket at you guys right here can be my beef and my chicken broth as you guys know i use most of my chicken broth doing my chicken gravy on my last dinner and stuff like that so and i put a little bit of the chicken broth into the chicken tenders you know to keep them kind of um moist you know or whatnot to keep them tender or whatnot so i need a little more broth right there i went ahead and put my rice cups right here so i should i make it fit one or even two more rice cup package right here and uh here's my spam uh, my turkey spam my husband don't too much like um he don't too much like um pork so we i definitely want to do the turkey spam uh it's one two three four five one two three it's five of them so i'll probably put two of the blue can in here after we eat most of the turkey spam i'll put two of the blue cans in here because the kiddos i fried up some spam the other day and put it i fried the spam up in some butter and i um 
put a little bit of, you know how you get a little crisp on the span when you cut it up and stuff. I sliced it real thin, put a little crisp on it, and then I put it on some Hawaiian rolls, and then I put a little bit of mustard and, and uh, syrup on there. That is some of my stuff because I, I really like mustard and syrup on my, you know, hot, fried hot dogs, whatever, I guess, and fried spam also. But I did it for the kids, and they just went at it with them little sliders because I had them on the little Hawaiian rolls. But anyway, this is a great thing to keep in the pepper pantry. And then this is the pot size on spaghetti. I love the size of the box because it can go right up under here, you know. And I should be able to get three more boxes of that. So that'll be five spaghetti. And then I have a few different um, boxes of these, like four up there and the lasagna. That's enough noodles for my pepper pantry. It's really just enough noodles for my pepper pantry. Let me go ahead and show what I did right here. These are all the tuna packets. They're all in the back, all the tuna packets. Now with these packets, they do make the mackerel packets and the salmon packets. All kind of different packets, you know. So, but I normally, I just pretty much got tuna up there. And across the front, it's enough room for the Vienna sausages. So I should be able to put at least, I'm thinking six across there. Five to six Vienna sausages right across the front of it. Also, so that is tripleizing the space right there. We got these three items right here. And then, uh... The you know, we got the bottom row, we got the row of the tuna, and then just the row by any sausages. But everything is still in eyesight view. I know what I got and I know what I need. Oh my lord, tripleizing, triple utilizing the space is that what I want to say? So, this is the second uh shelf all done up, um, in single file order. I guess this would be called like your single file. <laughs> Almost like, you know, I'm, I just like stuff to be right there, correct, to the point. This is not the end of the pepper pantry. Those I normally don't even have. A lot of times we don't keep a lot of the mac and cheese bowls. But, you know, for right now, and I let, I do allow for an item to run out. So I can replace it with something else kind of different, okay? So I might go ahead and use that uh, mac and cheese, uh, shells and cheese one since I got all these mac and cheese right here. And put something else right there, you know? It is a working pantry. That's why my pantry don't never stay full. It is definitely a working pantry. We utilize everything in the pantry, but I can see everything. I know exactly what be needed when I do need to restock. All right, moving on to the last and third shelf. All right, and this is our last cabinet right here. Got all our coffees and stuff over there. And this right here, you know, it has got nothing much in here. My canned goods need to restock everything. But I am going to just straighten everything up and get stuff out of here. Don't need to be here. Like those bottoms up there, they don't need to be in there. So I don't know what that is all about. Okay, I'm just going to straighten it up. You guys, I am done with it. It's been a while since I've been back on camera because I had to do a lot of stuff with doing about stuff. But here is that sweet tea that you can get out of uh, Dollar Tree. I will be getting as many packets as I can. When I normally go on Dollar Tree, they normally be sold out. So you have to get these when they're in there. The cookies, they won't stay in here. Once they're done in this pepper pantry, I'm not going to buy them unless we want to buy them and make them ourselves. Because they're not like a one-and-done item. And, I, you know, I just want to pull them out. Now, this is just add milk. Or you could just add water. You know, you can just add water. It won't make or break the muffin too much. It might make it a little drier, but pretty much the same thing. Now, this buttermilk biscuit mix right here, I only got one of these, and this is just add water. I'm going to try it. I don't know if it's going to roll for my family and I. I don't know if it's going to really save time, but I'm going to try this, and we'll see if it'll stay in the pantry or not. And then here is some soups. This whole section right here is going to be soups. Uh, I have three chicken noodles, three of the chicken and rice ones, and three of the potato soups. So that's what I'm going to bake these three rolls is straight soups. And I don't know about the biscuit meal. Now right here is all of the canned corn and canned green beans that were there supposed to go. We're going to have two. We're going to have probably just one row of tuna. So I probably can break that down. Salty and crackers. One box. This is a whole box. And I got this box like two or three, two weeks ago at least. So really salty and crackers go slow in our home. So one box in the pantry and maybe one box open is pretty much what all we need. This is a, a, a row of refried beans right there. And then this is a big, like, taller cabinet. It's taller right here. And that's where I keep my taller items, especially my syrup right here. Two syrups are open. Don't know why. And then this is the pasta sauce. 
the pasta sauce uh it's gonna be six of those right there now i can stack one more of these on top of there you know just mashed potatoes that you can have you can always make a little bowl out of them too by putting stuff on top of it or whatnot very easy peasy meal our snack and then we love these crackers right here the townhouse crackers so we have plenty of those and this is coffee i will break the coffee down to one row of coffee we have the white chocolate vanilla chocolate blueberry and the chocolate glazed donut and plus a hazel some hazelnut brew too i mean all these right here were running about 25 to 50 cent when i had got them on clearance mega sale and i had a coupon on top of them man i got them for a little bit of nothing i think 35 cent each for all the coffees which is a blessing because we really liking coffee right now doing our little coffee drinks and stuff all right so this is the last cabinet right here so now it's gonna be so easy for me to just look and restock the pantry okay you guys we are gonna do under the sink right here i decided to start utilizing my under the sink for all my cleaner items so let me get these kind of sorted out all right you guys something went terribly wrong underneath here i don't know what it was i really don't know what it was either the cleaners were leaking out or there was a leak under here or something like that i'm gonna wipe this out real good and then i'm gonna go from there all right you guys here it goes oh my lord it looks so much better underneath the cabinet i decided to start using underneath my sink for all my cleaning supplies as you can hear the kids are uh, rolling everything this has been really and all right i am finally done with this big ordeal today the kids are up and i done fed them now i did i had to fix the kid okay she won't start hollering oh lord <laughs> this is a rough day with me. I'm trying a while ago, something fell and everything. And now the kids want to start hollering. Let me try to get ready now. All right, you guys. I did reorganize my pepper pantry today. And I organized down here underneath the sink. Everything went well. I got my hand soaps right there. My hand soap, my 25 cent hand soaps I found a while ago. These are some of the miscellaneous cleaners. These are toilet bowl cleaners. And um, I know that I can use two or three more toilet bowl cleaners right here there is a ibotta rebate for a dollar on scrubbing bubble toilet bowl cleaners and there are two dollars and 19 cent each at walmart as i was saying these are two dollars and 19 cent at walmart there's a dollar i bought a rebate making them only a dollar and 19 cent that's better than at dollar tree so i plan on getting about three probably on my next grocery haul from walmart get about three of these um toilet bowl cleaners but i do want to do away with the toilet bowl cleaners i want to do away with them now, I think there is something that you can put in the back of your toilet that every time you flush it, it kind of it, it kind of give it a real good clean on that toilet bowl where it won't get that little ring around the toilet bowl. So, I'm going to see if I can find that, and I will let you guys know if it be in a haul or not. I'm going to try that and see. Now, putting stuff inside the toilet don't work because when Duna Bud goes to use the bathroom, he, he just feels like nothing don't need to be in the toilet, and he tends to flush it down or take it out. So... I have got to get something that might can go in the back of the toilet, you know, so that it can keep the toilet ring clean. That way I can do away with this row. And I might can put something else right there, you know, if, if need be. And this is two rows of hand soaps. There will only be, I mean, I really don't straight up use hand soap, but, you know, um, you can use, like, body washes and other that and other stuff, shampoo and other stuff to wash your hands with in the bathroom. But... When you find them for 25 cents, you know, so these will be gone. Once they're gone, they'll be gone. But, um, and so there'll be more room underneath here for cleaning supplies, different cleaning supplies that I use. Now, um, right here is all my all purpose cleaners and disinfectants right here. And I don't need no more of those, you know, all the way up to the front. And this bottle right here, here I put, I put bleach in here. So it's been holding up pretty good so far. And the dish detergent right here. I wasn't able to get it all the way off. But I'm sure with my white eraser, I should be able to get it all the way off. That looks great to me. It really does. It really, really does. All right, you guys. So thank you for staying with me to organize my pepper pantry and underneath my sink and clean it up some. Also, I'm so thankful that you guys have tuned in with me. Thank you for, and then, okay, uh, one more thing is that I want to get some little, some containers, wide enough containers to sit these items in. I know they're okay, like, kind of like, just like this, but I do want some containers to sit them in, and maybe the spillage and everything won't be so bad. 
I'll just have to rinse the containers out and put them back underneath here. And um, I don't think nothing was leaking or nothing. I just, I don't know what happened down there. Sometimes we've been here cooking and everything else, and I don't know what I was on the on the floor of this or whatnot. But I do want to get containers to set each row in, you know. And hopefully I can find a picture to show you kind of like what I'm talking about. I probably can find them right in Dollar Tree. And I want to put them in containers. And that way all I have to do is just get the containers, wash them out, dry them out, and just put them back under here. So thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for listening. And until next time, YouTube, stay blessed.